All right, everybody that's on, we're gonna give it one more minute to get a couple more people on to, to view while we go live for the first of our coffee tasting series. Alright, I see we're getting some getting some people on. I'm excited about that. Welcome Jose, I see you on. Alright everybody, we'll get started so that I don't take up too much of your time. My name is Adam Hanover. I am the store manager at Rose Wharf in downtown Boston. I am also the 2015 Barista Champion for Area 72. And welcome to the first in my series of virtual coffee tastings on Periscope. Uh, the goal of these tastings is to get some new partners actively involved in coffee tastings, to get some senior tenured partners involved in some coffee tastings and hopefully inspire some more coffee knowledge um, and some more coffee passion around the district and around the area. Uh, that being said, ho 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 and welcome to the first day of holiday 2015 here at Starbucks. And today I have a very special guest, it's one of my mentors. Hey, Mr. Adam Odzell, District Manager at the Financial District in downtown Boston. Welcome, Adam. Hey, what's up, everybody? So Adam, excited. Adam is my District Manager. He also knows more about coffee than just about anybody <laughs> I know, so I'm very happy to have him on the first tasting that we do here. As I mentioned, it's the first day of the holiday promotion. We wanted to kind of kickstart the series today to highlight just how much energy there can be around holiday. I hope everyone's holiday sets went really well last night. Everyone got well rested for the first day today so we could share that passion with our customers. Now, Adam, I wanted to ask you, what are you most excited about for this specific holiday promotion this year? Oh man, that's tough. I will tell you, I uh, there's no better time of the year at Starbucks than Christmas uh, holiday season. Um, it, it is. I love watching the stores turn red. I get so excited about it. I, last night I, I was peeking in my stores uh, late to see how they were shaping up, and then this morning to come into them and see the red. I, I uh, I'm telling you, it's so exciting. Uh, probably what I'm most favor uh, excited about this year, other than the coffee, which I can't wait for this coffee every year, specifically Christmas blend and then Christmas espresso roast, which is my favorite. Um, but what I was so, so excited to see this year was these new mugs. And I don't know if those of you out there, if everybody joining is in the Boston area or if we have people from other areas, but uh, they picked, I think, uh, maybe 12 different locations in uh, the United States and they actually made specific mugs for those areas this year. And they actually did a little ornament too, which this is what I'm most excited about. I've been collecting ornaments at Starbucks for 10 years now. Uh, I could fill a whole tree with Starbucks ornaments, so this will be one of my uh, one of my purchases. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a little the Boston Bee on it, and then the brown stones and stuff. Super super cute. So I'm excited about that. I have a partner in my store that this is his 16th year of collecting an ornament, and I guarantee this is going to be one of his favorite ones because it's a very cool ornament design. Now, me personally, what I'm most looking forward to is the offering of Christmas espresso on the Mastrena yeah. as an espresso offering in our stores. So good. This is going to be an awesome chance for us to elevate the espresso experience in our store for our customers. I'm encouraging all of you to go out and try your next latte, your next flat white with that Christmas espresso. As Adam mentioned, it's his favorite. It's also my favorite offering every single year since it first came out. That little tinge of acidity that you get on top of that regular spicy Christmas blend flavor, it just cannot be topped. Um, but that being said, we are actually going to be tasting regular Christmas blend today. This is, if you've checked out the bags in your stores today, you'll see it says Vintage 2015 on the front. I like that little addition to the bag this year. It kind of shows that this is a coffee that's a little bit different every year, and every year we're trying to make it better. And we want to advertise that this year, 2015, we have a great Christmas blend offering. And to be honest, I don't actually know that yet because this is going to be my first sip of Christmas blend. I intentionally did not have a cup of coffee this morning. That's right, I am this pack. I didn't have coffee this morning so that I could share my first sip of Christmas blend with you fine people on the, on the tasting here. So we have our French press of Christmas blend all prepped and ready to go. I'm going to pour this out for Mr. Adam Odzell here. I'm using one of our new demi toss cups that are available in the dot collection say 2015 right on the front for Adam and for myself 
I have a special tasting coffee cup that was given to me by barista champion Marissa Moxon from Area 35. Shout out Marissa if you're on the call. Uh, one of the really cool things about the Barista Championship competition that I'll probably share every single week on here is just the experience to meet new people and make lifelong friends and connections. And the fact that I made a friend in Ohio that's sending me a tasting mug after I ordered something else off of her Etsy shop was really cool. And I cherish having a gift from somebody else that loves coffee. So Marissa, thank you. Without further ado, how about we get right into our tasting, Let's Adam? Let's have a taste. All right. Cheers. Cheers. And let's... First step, we're going to take a nice smell. Mm. I get that cedary, woodsy oh, yeah. smell first off. That's what jumps out at me. Yeah, that the, the spiciness. I get some clove mm. and that nice cedar smell. Hopefully you guys out there are picking up some of the spiciness, a little bit of the woodsiness of it, mm -hmm. um, a little herbal. Where does that come from? Why is there a cedary, woodsy smell, Adam? So the Christmas blend is a combination. It's a multi-region blend of Latin American and Asian coffees. The Asian coffee that it uses is aged Sumatra. Uh, that is Sumatra beans that before they are roasted, they age for three to five years. Um, and they come out with a very, very spicy flavor after that. Combining that with the Latin American coffees gives a really unique flavor profile to the mm -hmm. Christmas blend, and it's a favorite of customers every single year. Mm -hmm. So our second step, we're gonna take a nice slurp. Let's see which one of us has the better slurp. I don't know if I'm gonna beat that one. <laughs> Make sure you spread that all across your tongue, get it all across the palate. Now we're gonna locate. What do you think, Adam? It's a nice balanced coffee. There's, um, but I, I really locate it most in the middle, probably in center of my tongue. Yeah, not as far back on my tongue as I kind of expected to taste it this year. It's kind of right towards the middle of my tongue. It's got a nice body that stays right on the tongue. Um, and now our last step, for those of you that are newer partners and maybe just went through barista basics, this should be fresh in your head. It's to describe. We already started a little bit, kind of talking about the body, but what kind of flavors you get, Adam? Uh, wow, you know, it's that spiciness first that really comes out for me. Um, I can just imagine drinking this with uh, some of our holiday foods that are gonna be uh, eating too much of this year. Um, but then there's a nice little sweetness at oh, yeah. the end, uh, which really balances the coffee out. Yeah. So one of the best things about having aged Sumatra in the Christmas blend You'll notice that there's also aged Sumatra in the Thanksgiving blend. The goal for that is so that the savory foods that we have around Thanksgiving and Christmas will complement the coffee well. The coffee will complement the foods well also. The cool thing that you mentioned about that little bit of sweetness that comes up at the end of the Christmas blend, I can see myself having this with a nice roast turkey and with a nice <laughs> slice of pumpkin pie. You can have it with the sweet dessert as well as with the dinner. Yeah. Uh, this is this is a really good offering this yeah, year. I'm yeah. I'm overwhelmed by how good this coffee is this year. Yeah, I have to say, uh, you know, I've been drinking it for ten years now, and um, this might be one of my favorites. And I don't say that every year, uh, but I think the aged Sumatra really comes out even more than in prior years. Um, and one of the things I know we read about it was this year they actually. Um, created a special roast spectrum for uh, Christmas blend and uh, for this year in particular, this vintage 2015 year, to highlight that aged Sumatra. And it really does come out uh, and uh, I, I think it's one of the best I've had. Yeah, this is, this is such a smooth cup of coffee this year. For those of you on the call, if your partners in your store have not had this, I definitely recommend have as many tastings of this as you can have over the next few weeks. Get your customers excited. Let's sell some bags of at-home coffee. Let's make 2015 vintage, vintage of Christmas blend the best-selling vintage that we've ever had. <laughs> I, uh, I I wanted to share, Adam. You know, you mentioned the aged Sumatra. One of the things that's really unique about Starbucks, we're uh, the only um, company. Uh, yes, it is, Marcus. Uh, he's noticing our Boston mug. I shared a little bit earlier in our uh, in our uh, webcast here that uh, we've got these exclusively uh, in only 12 different cities in the uh, in the US that got these 12 different ge geographic areas. So yeah, I'm super excited about this and probably even more so the uh, the little tiny ornament. I'm so excited about. But um but what I was saying about the aged coffee, we're we're the only coffee company uh, in the world 
that uh, owns and operates our own aging facility. And uh, it has to be done in certain parts of the world aging. It's a very, very um, risky endeavor to age coffee because typically it damages coffee. So it takes the right kind of bean in the right circumstances and three to five years of meticulously turning and rotating it so that it gets a nice even age. Uh, then our, our, our coffee quality masters, they go out, they test it every year, every six months uh, until it hits that perfect uh, spot. Uh, and, then, and then it becomes good enough for our coffee. So it's really a long process uh, and it's a unique process. It's a great little chestnut. Like I said, this man right to my left, to, <laughs> to stage left here, he knows so much about coffee. Uh, an origins partner. Um, That's right. I hopefully on a subsequent tasting when we're not discussing the holiday promo so much, we can discuss the origins trip sure, yeah. and we can learn a little bit about what that entails. Um, one of the goals that I had for, for this series was to give a little chestnut each time about the coffee that makes it unique, uh, that makes it a little bit different than some of the other blends that we have so that you'll have some knowledge in your arsenal that you could share with our customers, that you could share with some partners. What I had picked out out of the Christmas blend is, this is our coffee fact sheet. This comes out with our promo and there is a coffee fact sheet available on every single one of our core coffees as well on the retail hub. Sign in, in the search bar, search for the name of the coffee and the very first hit will always be the coffee fact sheet. And on the coffee fact sheet, it has just about every piece of information you could need to know to conduct a tasting with that coffee. So for the newer partners on the call, I would recommend anytime you do a tasting, grab the coffee fact sheet first and you're gonna learn a whole lot more about that coffee than you would have if you taste it blind. Mm. For our more seasoned partners, if there's any coffee masters or barista trainers on the call today that want to utilize this, what I would recommend is print the coffee fact sheets when you're leading tastings with your partners. If you're leading training for a new partner, feel free to introduce them to this tool because it's really great. One of the things that you will see on the Christmas blend is this is a post-roast blend. Um, not many of our coffees are a post-roast blend. Most coffees that we carry are pre-roast blend, which means that we combine the beans from the different growing regions before we roast them. Um, in order to make the Christmas blend work, the H Sumatra has to be roasted to a different part of the roast spectrum than the Latin American beans that combine with it. So they're roasted separately, combined later into the correct quantity, put into a bag and shipped right out to us. This allows us to have a really good balanced cup of coffee where we're not scorching the Latin American beans, but we're roasting the H Sumatra long enough to bring out that spicy bold flavor. What do you think, Adam? You loving the Christmas Man, blend? I'm, I'm loving it, and uh, I'm going to tell you what. After uh, after our tasting here, I'm going to run out and get myself the Christmas flat white too, because that is uh, yes. unbelievable. Um, so make sure you try that if you haven't yet. So, Adam, uh, I guess just last question before we let everybody get back to their day. Um, tell us what's coming. This is our first one ever. First one uh, ever. So it's been a lot of fun. But tell us what's coming up. This is something yeah. you're going to be doing every Absolutely. week, right? Every single week, Tuesday at noon, I will be running one of these coffee tastings. The goal is to have each one in 15 minutes or less as a demonstration that, yes, we can have coffee tastings and share our love of coffee without disrupting the flow of business in our day. All you got to do is slip off with a French press and a cup of coffee and just enjoy 10 15 minutes um, we're going to have a special guest every single time it's not going to be just me because boy you guys would be bored <laughs> believe me I can be peppy but I can go on forever so I will have a special guest every single week some weeks it might be a DM some weeks it might be a store manager some weeks it might just be a partner who's enthusiastic if you're interested in being a partner on this coffee tasting series feel free to reach out to me on Twitter at Sombra Day Adam feel free to email me at my store that's s18666 at retail.starbucks.com or feel free when you're in downtown Boston yeah. just come on into my store have a cup of coffee off the clover I'd love to chat coffee with you if anybody has any questions about the tasting today feel free again hit me up on Twitter at Sombra Day Adam and for those of you who had partners that might have wanted to join but were not able to this full series will be available on my YouTube channel. I will tweet out the link to that later. Um, so there will be a, a, an archive on YouTube because Periscope only holds these in their archive for a few weeks. So I will have it archived on YouTube and accessible to everybody. Um, it will be searchable on YouTube. I'll have my YouTube handle up on my Twitter account later so you guys will be able to find it. Um, 
And I would encourage you, if you're doing a tasting of Christmas blend with a new partner, feel free to cue this video up and have the tasting with this video. Mm -hmm. um, it's a good chance to connect with a leader like Adam Modzell. It's a good chance to have a store manager, uh, barista champion, in on a tasting with you. And you might learn a couple things. And, uh, you know, you might actually know some stuff that we don't know. And you can always <laughs> come back and share it with us when you see us. So, Adam, I want to thank you for coming yeah, on the inaugural edition. It's That's really right. exciting. It is exciting. Um, and exciting. I am so excited for holiday this year. Guys, this is my favorite time of the year. For the new partners on the call, if you've never been through a holiday at Starbucks before, man, our customers get excited. And if you can get them excited too, <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm getting some comments on here. How's everybody doing? Uh, if you can get your customers as excited about holiday as I am, man, we are going to really, really knock holiday out of the park here in downtown Boston and all across the area. And we'll be able to show up to the company and let them know that the Northeast, that Area 72, is where it's at. <laughs> so awesome. everybody, I want to nice thank job. you for tuning in and have a great day. Thanks, guys. See you next week.